Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we are gonna deal with some pests, but this is not my usual rodent trap review video. As you can see flying by, there are so many yellow jacket hornets. These are really aggressive, and in this video, I'm gonna dig up a nest and then show you the best ways to trap these. Now these are so plentiful, I'm scared to have my kids go outside. They are really aggressive and they will sting. They're not like the usual honeybee. They can sting multiple times without dying. I found a nest behind my house. These things typically live underground in a big paper nest. They use an old vole or mouse hole and they're protected underground. But with this shovel, I'm gonna dig it up, show you what the problem is. Then we're gonna test out some traps. I'll show you how to build a really great homemade trap. We get a lot of yellow jackets in this video. To start with though, I'm gonna use the bee spray, spray the hole, then start digging it up. Even though it's really hot outside, I'm gonna be wearing thick clothes, a hoodie, glasses, gloves. Man, as you can see, these are everywhere and we're gonna completely destroy this nest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cover up, zip up my hoodie, spray the hole, and then start digging. So let's dig up the yellow jacket nest now. Here's the opening to the hornet's nest. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray bee spray down there. Then we're gonna start digging it up. The hole's right there and they can come out now. We're getting close, they're really aggressive. Here's what's left of this underground yellow jacket nest. I pretty much destroyed it, but you can see all the larva. This is the next generation and they require a lot of food. So all the adult yellow jackets go out and look for meat. And that's a huge weakness. The yellow jackets want meat so bad that they're easy to trap. So not everyone's gonna wanna dig up a yellow jacket nest. I did get stung right there where the glove meets the sleeve. It's pretty dangerous, luckily I'm not allergic, but there are easier ways to deal with yellow jackets. If you can't find and destroy the nest, the next best option is to trap the yellow jackets. This can be very effective at reducing numbers. I have two commercially available traps here, and this one is a homemade trap. We're gonna set these up side by side and see which one catches more yellow jackets. This one's made by Pick Pest Free Living. It's their yellow jacket and wasp trap. This one's called Y, it stands for wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. And this one's a simple trap you can make out of items you have around the house. So let's get these set up. We'll start with the pick trap. We'll take it out of the box. Here's what the pick trap looks like. They're eager to get in. This has six holes for the yellow jackets to climb in and get caught. The top comes off like this. Now you fill the bottom with sugar water, juice, and meat. That's how you bait it and you just hang it for the yellow jackets to get caught. Here's the Y trap. It comes with attractant gel, has a funnel on top and bottom. We'll see how many get caught in there. And now we'll set up our homemade trap. This is so easy. All you need is a container that will hold water. This can be a bowl, a bucket, or here I'm using a tote. On top of the trap, you'll need a board. I got fancy with this one and cut some grooves on the table saw, but I got them a little thin so it might break. You don't have to get this fancy. Anything that will hold the bait will work. For bait, we're gonna use pieces of a chicken carcass. The bees really love this meat and they'll go after it. I'm gonna attach the chicken carcass with some screws, then we'll flip it over and finish the trap. The yellow jackets really want to get the bait. They go in here, they go upside down and grab a big load of meat. They're very greedy and usually when they take off, they drop a few inches. So we're going to add water just an inch below the bait. That way when they take off, they'll drop in the water. So let's go fill this up before our bait is gone. The last and really important part of this trap is to add some liquid dish soap. That acts as a surfactant and makes them so they can't swim on the water and they die more quickly. The yellow jackets are everywhere and they really want this bait. We already have several in here and they're already dropping in the bucket. Let's let this sit here a little while and see how many we get.
It's been three hours since we set up these traps and we have some really good results. Let's go ahead and count and see what the final numbers are. Here's the final results. I counted out each individual yellow jacket and in just a few hours with the white trap, we caught 76 and with the pig trap, we caught 111. I think we caught more in this trap because we used chicken as bait and right now the yellow jackets are really focused on meat. In this trap, we used the liquid that was provided as bait. I think we would have caught more with chicken. Both store-bought traps work well and I think they're good options for long-term maintenance, but if you need to reduce the population in a hurry, make a homemade trap with a container, liquid dish soap, some water, some meat, and a board. In our homemade trap, we caught 790 yellow jackets. That can really reduce numbers in a hurry, especially if you set up several traps. If you're new to my channel, I usually post videos on how to catch rodents. I post between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, gophers, and occasionally yellow jackets, stay tuned.